Hello, good morning. Today's topic of presentation is Judicial Reforms of 1781. So let's discuss. In Sadar Diwani Adalat, Warren Hastings realized the difficulty in deciding civil cases in appeal. To meet this difficulty, Warren Hastings appointed Sir Elijah Impe as the Chief Justice of Sadar Diwani Adalat. Sir Elijah Impe was learned in law and was already Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of Calcutta. Now onwards, Impe became Chief Justice of both the superior courts, namely the Supreme Court and the Sadar Diwani Adalat. It was expected that Impe as the Chief Justice will bring closer the existing two distinct judicial systems. The Governor General and Council were not experts in law and they were mostly busy in political matters and as such the appointment of Impe was a great relief to them also. Let's discuss the initiative of Ilija Impe and Warren Hastings. Soon after his appointment as Chief Justice of Sadar Diwani Adalat, Chief Justice Ilija Impe first of all devoted his time and energy to introduce reforms in the Diwani Adalat as Chief Justice. He was aware of the defective state of Diwani Adalat and and the famous Patna case in which he participated as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Impe therefore prepared a series of regulations to improve the administration of justice in Diwani Adalat. One of the most remarkable contribution of Sir Elija Impe was the preparation of the first civil court for administration of civil justice in India. Thus, in the legal history of India, the first civil court was adopted in the year 1781. So, let's discuss preparation of civil court. The preparation of the first civil court therefore reflected the great contribution made by both Governor General Warren Hastings and Chief Justice Elija Impe to improve the administration of civil justice. The civil court became a landmark in the legal history of India due to its contribution in three directions of vital importance as follows. The first place, in the first place with the establishment of the Sadar Diwani Adalat at Calcutta and entrusting it with full powers, the administration of civil justice was centralized. It was only responsible to the Governor General in Council. It controlled and supervised the subordinate courts as well as maintained uniformity in the administration of justice. Second, through the provisions of the civil court, devised a better mode of governing the Hindu law and Mohammedan law by laying down a proper process and rules of evidence chief justice impe laid the foundation of separate institution of legal profession to assist the judges and the litigants in india which according to him played an important role in shaping the judicial process of the country. Third, by recognizing the principles of separation of judiciary and revenue, Elija Impe as the Chief Justice of Sadar Diwani Adalat established the independence and impartiality of the judiciary. So let's discuss reforms in the administration of criminal justice. In 1781, Governor General Warren Hastings introduced certain changes to improve the administration of criminal justice. The old policy of non-interference in the criminal justice was thus changed. Warren Hastings first of all 
empowered the judges of the mufassil diwani adalats also to act as magistrate manje dandadhikari in their respective jurisdiction they were authorized to arrest all those persons who were suspected to have committed crimes they exercised a sort of police powers their duty was to commit criminals immediately on their own apprehension to the nearest mufassil fauzari adalat and submit written charges on the basis of which they were arrested a separate department was established at calcutta to control and supervise the working of the fauzari adalat these adalats were required to submit their monthly reports written of proceedings details of charges list of persons arrested and sent for trial by magistrate to the adalat similarly reports were also sent to this department by sadar nizamat adalat a department was presided over by remembrancer of the criminal courts he was directly under the control of governor general by this process in the beginning many irregularities came to light which were committed in the criminal courts so to conclude with on the whole warren hastings adopted the method of trial and error in uprooting the evils of the existing judicial and exec- executive systems and never hesitated even in taking bold steps to remove such evils as the first governor general he proved himself one of the most faithful servants of the english east india company and played a vital role in further strengthening the foundation for the future expansion of the british empire in india so with this so these are the references with this i have completed the judicial reforms of 1781 Thank you